Uh, the 76ers lose last night to the Pistons. 105 to 95 down at the Wells Fargo Center. They were behind by 20 points with, I think it was three minutes and some odd seconds left to go. So they were actually in the fourth quarter trailing the Pistons by 20 points. The Pistons won 14 games last year. And they were trying, that's the, like when the Sixers were terrible, they were trying to lose games. The Pistons were trying to win games last year. They could only manage 14 wins. They were 0 4 entering the game last night. And, um, yeah, like they, it's the whole second half. They, the Sixers made a little bit of a surge to try to get it closer. Game was over. It was a brutal game, terrible game. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on it because if you look at that roster, and I'll, I'll just like the Sixers last last night: Martin, Drummond, Lowry, Maxi, Ubre. When Ubre shots fi- shoots five for fourteen, and Martin shoots two for ten, Kyle Lowry is th- is he looks like he's forty eight, not thirty eight, and he's had a great career. I, I don't want to speak poorly of him. You don't need him in the starting lineup. He only played 20 minutes. But like I said, I don't want to spend a lot of time on this team or on this game last night because honestly, when Joel Embiid and Paul George come back, they're going to be fine. They're going to be a good team. Are they going to win a championship? I don't think so. But they'll be a good team. So spending too much time on what happened last night during the game, even though it was the lowly Pistons, even though the, the Sixers should be able to beat the Pistons on their home court, with the roster that they've assembled. Daryl Morey should be able to assemble a roster that can beat the Pistons last night. They didn't do it. I'm not going to spend too much time on it. They lost. When Joel Embiid and Paul George get back, they will be fine and they will win games and they'll blow teams like the Pistons out. Uh, The problem is the 76ers continue to commit unforced errors when it comes to this Joel Embiid injury stuff. Because honestly, I don't think anybody cares about the injury. I don't think anybody would have cared about the injury But the Sixers very strangely continue with this very strange behavior.